Hey what's up guys welcome to the sixth selenium web driver tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see some more selenium IDE commands that is verifying the text on the web page so in the last tutorial we have seen the verify text command uh, which used to verify a particular text on a web page and it will pass only if the value that we specify along with the verify text command matches with the value on the web page uh, today we will see one more command which will verify the text called as assert text so we quickly type it as assert text okay again it uh, takes the target as uh, the locator of the web page element so in this case uh, we can use the id so selenium have a number of uh, locators which uh, it uses in order to locate the web page elements so the simplest one is the id and we have another one called as name that is uh, it will uh, recognize the web page element using the name attribute of the element and we have other locators uh, such as uh, css which uh, takes uh, the combination of attributes of uh, the element and xpath and uh, other locating elements that we will be looking in the upcoming tutorials and okay let's uh, continue with our assert text command target is the id equals result and the value again we can copy from here so copy paste okay so we will be uh, verifying the same text so let's uh, execute this save the test case and execute the test case so as you can see it will open type the username password and it has successfully verified the text that is logged in and assert text uh, value that is logged in again so basically the difference between this verify text and assert text is both is both are used to compare the values that we specify that is the expected value that we specify in the value column and the actual value which it takes from the web page element so verified text will uh, compare both the values and if it passes it will go to the next command to execute the next command or even if it fails if the comparison of uh, the values that is expected and actual values fails even in that case the verified text will go to the next command so the re remaining commands will get executed in case of verified text but what exactly happens in assert text is uh, if assert text comparison passes then uh, it will go to the next command and the remaining uh, commands will get executed but if in case uh, due to some reason the expected values and the actual values do not match in that case the assert text will stop the execution of that particular te test case and it will not execute the remaining commands in that test case so uh, let's uh, provide some other values in uh, both the verify and assert text so as you have seen as you can see I have uh, modified the expected values which will obviously not match with the actual values on the web page okay so if you quickly save this test case and execute the test case so both the commands will fail So as you can see uh, we have this verify text which has failed and it has gone to that assert text which has also failed again. So one thing we can do is uh, we can keep this as uh, the actual value and save it and execute it so that you can see that this has uh, passed successfully. So what we are trying to do over here is first verify text first execute this verify text command with uh, a wrong uh, value or the expected value which will not match with the actual value and in this case even if it has uh, failed it has gone to the next command that is assert text as you can see 
so uh, one thing we can quickly do is uh, can check whether assert text will go to the remaining commands or not so we can quickly copy this and paste it okay it should be below click command so we paste it so as you can see I have uh, this assert text again over here and we can quickly modify it so now the expected result of this execution of this test case will be the assert text will fail over here in this uh, command and it will not go to the remaining commands so if you quickly save it and execute this test case so it has logged in and it has failed so as you can see it has not executed the remaining commands in the test case since uh, the assert text has failed so basically that's only reason between verify text and assert text and you can uh, use the appropriate command depending on the requirement of uh, the execution of your test cases so basically that's it in this tutorial uh, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one